हेलो गाइस आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग गुड आई एम विशाली की कान एंड वी आर डिस्कसिंग द ऑप्टिकल कम्युनिकेशन टुडे इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द फाइबर बेंडिंग लॉसेस सो दिस वाज द लास्ट वीडियो इन द वीडियोस ऑफ द एटीन्यूएशन आई होप यू ऑल हैव सीन द फर्स्ट वीडियो ऑन द एटीन्यूएशन इन विच आई हैव डिस्कस वॉट ऑल फैक्टर्स विच आर कॉजिंग द एटीन्यूएशन ऑफ द सिग्नल so now the last part is the fiber bending losses it is going to attenuate the signal now what is fiber bending so as the name suggest fiber bending is the bending of the fiber now when i'm bending the fiber in that case also i will be having some losses how the losses are produced due to the bending of the fiber that is the thing that we are going to see in this video further how we can reduce these losses this is a very important part Okay, so for that I am going to see what all factors upon which the fiber bending loss is dependent upon, right? And after that we are going to see the different types of the fiber bending losses. That is the macroscopic bending losses and the microscopic bending losses. So let's start our discussion with the introduction to the fiber bending losses. Now, whenever I am bending the fiber, let's suppose this is my fiber. I have bended the fiber, right? So this is the core, and now in the surrounding I will be having the cladding. Okay, so now when I have bended the fiber, you can see if I bend it properly, right? So here I will be having more radius, and here at this part I will be having lesser radius. So I will be having difference of the radius if I am bending the fiber, right? At this part actually I will be having more radius, and here I will be having lesser radius. So when I have more radius over here signal is traveling like this right so here the signal has to travel a longer distance and it may reach into the cladding as well so now when the signal is reaching into the cladding it is having to travel a longer path and when it is traveling the longer path as compared to this single signal this velocity of this signal has to increase and the, when the velocity of this signal is increased the energy of the signal is going to increase i know energy is related to the velocity of the signal so when the velocity is increased energy is increased and now i can say when i have very high energy this signal can go and radiate outside the optical fiber and in this manner it is going to produce some losses inside the optical fiber i hope you understood the basic concept now let us discuss about the definition of the fiber bending losses now it is the radiation loss i hope you understood this is the radiation that is happening right so i can say what type of losses that are happening the radiation losses are happening now the radiation losses are happening at the bands so here the signal is coming out of the optical fiber at the bands so radiation losses at bands or curve due to the energy in the evanescent field evanescent field is present inside the cladding so due to the energy in the evanescent field at the band exceed the velocity of the light inside the cladding and when the energy has increased the velocity of the light there will be the removal of the light energy as the radiation energy this is called the fiber bending loss now we can have different type of bending if i have very sharp bending we can have mechanical failure as well all of the energy is going out there will be no energy which is going to the receiver and this is called the mechanical failure our optical fiber has failed to become a channel this is the mechanical failure that we have right so the guidance mechanism is inhibited and ra light radiate from the fiber we are shifting from the guided mode to the radiation mode now the part of light that is traveling inside the cladding it has to travel faster as i told you because both of the light which is traveling inside the core and which is traveling inside the cladding as well as core both of them has to reach the same time so now when the light let's suppose we have this the light is traveling inside the core only and in this scenario light is traveling inside the cladding also so in this scenario we have to travel light has to travel lesser distance here the light has to travel larger distance 
so to travel larger distance in the same time as this light so what can be happening the light in the cladding has to travel with a larger velocity so the light in the cladding need to travel with the larger velocity then the velocity of light which is not possible and hence the energy is lost through the mode of radiation i hope you understood this thing and how we can denote the energy loss so energy loss is given by alpha r so this is the attenuation due to the radiation and is equal to c1 exponential or this is minus c2 into r so where r is the radius of the curvature of the fiber as i told you we are having difference in the radius of curvature so you can see here we will be having shorter radius here we will be having at the bends larger radius and now at the bend we will be having larger alpha right so radius of the curvature of the fiber will be related to the attenuation right so now i can say if i change the radius of the fiber i will be having the radiation losses which is called the fiber bending losses so we will be having multi mode fiber which is having the larger fiber bending losses because in the multi mode fiber the r would be high so when r is high i can say alpha would be high right so th in this scenario i can say i will be having larger bending losses in the multi mode fiber c1 c2 are the constants that we have rc is the radius critical radius it is nearly equal to 3 n1 square lambda upon 4 pi n1 square minus n2 square power 3 by 2 so what is n1 n1 is the refractive index of the core n2 is the refractive index of the cladding and lambda is the operation wavelength right so this is how i can find out the critical radius over which the fiber bending loss will start coming so this is the Uh, radius for the case of multi mode fiber if i talk about the single mode fiber so the critical radius in the single mode fiber will be equal to 20 lambda upon n1 minus n2 raised to power 3 by 2 2.748 minus 0.996 upon lambda into lambda upon lambda c raised to power minus 3 So now coming to the two types of bending losses. First we have the macroscopic bending losses then we have the microscopic bending losses. as the name suggest macro means on a larger scale micro means on a smaller scale so in the macroscopic bending losses we are bending on a larger scale so you can see we have a bigger bending so when the light is traveling here so at the bend it is going to come out right so radius of bending here would be greater than the radius of the core so you can see radius of bending is here it is greater than the radius of core which is over here right so radius of bending rb is greater than radius of core this is the condition whenever this condition is reached i will be having the macroscopic bending losses right so now you can see light would be traveling inside the cladding and when the light is traveling inside the cladding it has to go with a higher velocity the same concept and when it is going with a higher velocity it will be having higher energy and it will be going out right coming to the macroscopic bending losses here also the light is traveling and now at this uh, in inconsistency or non uniformity the light is going to come out of the fiber now this non uniformity can be present during the fabrication process when i have the fabrication process which is not properly controlled i will be having the non uniformities right or the non uniformity can be coming due to the lateral pressure so now i have the wire optical fiber that is cable so mostly optical fibers are cabled under water or underground so it will be having some lateral pressure over it and due to the lateral pressure at some position this optical fiber is going to bend and this is the micro bending right we can have the tension effect also so when the wall is there and when the optical fiber is tied to the wall we will be having the tension present on the wall this is going to again cause the micro bending loss inside the optical fiber so we will be having the drastic change in the radius here look you can see here the radius was something and here i will be having a drastic change in the radius right 
so we will be having more coupling losses here because I have the drastic change in the radius over here. I hope you understood why I have the micro bending losses, right? So microscopic bending losses is occurring due to the these two reasons. Now how I can reduce the micro bending losses? First of all, I can have the larger refractive index difference in between the refractive index of the core and the refractive index of the cladding. If I have the larger difference between these two, I can easily avoid the micro bending losses. Second, I can operate my optical fiber at the shortest possible wavelength and in this manner I can further reduce the micro bending losses. Further, I can have a larger process control during the manufacturing or the fabrication and due to which I can reduce the microscopic bending losses. Then I can use the compressible jackets which are going to reduce the lateral pressure that are coming onto the optical fiber when we are cabling the optical fiber. So I hope you understood the various things that I have discussed in this video regarding the micro bending losses if you have still any kind of doubt related to the any topic that I have discussed over here you can put the doubt in the comment and I will be trying to resolve your doubt as soon as possible I hope you like this session if you like it please push the like button subscribe to the channel share it with your friends do meet me soon in the next video thank you so much